How are you feeling today? Not great. I'm sore, I have a nasty headache. I only remember bits and pieces of what happened. Probably a side effect of whatever Bray Wyatt used to knock you unconscious. Could also explain some of the things I saw out there. A full recovery is what's most important right now. But unfortunately, we don't know yet how long that might take. So I have some bad news. Triple H is making me strip you of your title due to the injuries you've suffered. I'll make it back in time to defend the title. I know I can. I believe you can too. But Triple H doesn't want to wait around and see. He said his decision was final. I'm sorry. Now try to get some rest, okay? Saw Buzz after his kidnapping and battle with Bray Wyatt Welcome at Wyatt's back to compound. Raw. I know you don't like to ease into things, so you'll be in action tonight in a tag match versus the bar. Yeah, I got your text about it earlier. Who's my partner? I thought I'd leave that up to you. The scuttlebutt around town is that you're looking for a co-producer tonight. Well, have I... After tonight, they will never forget the name of... Hey. Something's different about you, and I... No, I just figured it out. It's that you no longer have a title around your waist. There's no way in hell I'd be your tag partner. This is it, tag oh. team action underway here, guys. All the budding tag teams out there hoping to one day make it to the big stage. Better be watching this match with Ouch. a notepad in hand because you can bet this is going to be a lesson in how it's done. Cesaro is in position. Is he done? And he releases the hold. I don't think he had it fully locked in. talk about great tag teams, we can go all the way back to teams like the Tolos brothers, Stevens and Patterson, Stevens and Bockwinkle, the Texas Outlaws, the Briscoes, the Blackjacks, the Andersons, and the list goes on and on. When you're part of a tag team, the two partners have to travel together, train together, eat together, and be completely in sync with one another. Tag team competition dates back all the way to the Early 1900s. Corey, you mentioned some of the classic duos from sports entertainment's incredible history. In today's WWE, the tag team scene has never been more competitive. I don't know who has the edge when it comes to talent, if it's Raw or SmackDown Live. I think it's too close to call, but all the teams truly think and act as one unit. I agree, Michael. Teams such as the Usos, American Alpha, Anderson and Gallows, the New Day, the Hardy Boys, Cesaro and Sheamus. I could be here all day naming championship caliber teams. And when the tag team scene is that competitive, you don't know which team will be wearing the gold. What a stop! Good grief! I got right to the gut. 
Cesaro and Sheamus are two dominant, powerful alpha males. They don't just adjust to the world, the world adjusts to them. But when Ambrose and Rollins captured the bar's tag titles, Cesaro and Sheamus' third title victory was bound to be their toughest. Oh my God, flipping pile driver spiked. Reflecting on what Byron said, Sheamus and Cesaro were looking for their third tag team title reign in less than a year's time. The two European natives were down to their final chance at reclaiming the Raw tag team titles. And Cesaro and Sheamus came through in the clutch in England. Ambrose and Rollins were white hot, but the bar showed they had superior tag team chemistry. Oh boy, he is rolling. And he's heading back in. Oh! Oh, look at this, raining down sharp elbows. Cesaro definitely starting to crack oh, here. Man. This is not where he wants to be right now. Big time impact from way up high. This is his opportunity to win this thing. No, he lets him out. Yeah, I think he knew he wasn't going to get the submission there. This could end it in a hurry. Here we go. Oh, 619. And a splash. Good night. Corey, check this out. Yeah, that was amazing. Took him out at the knee. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. Oh, here we go. No telling where or when this will end. What's he got in mind? And there's his speed paying off. Oh, Buzz just barely got out of the way. Him. Somebody's on a mission tonight. He's looking at it. Here we go. Frog splash. Here's his moment, Michael. Look at this again, guys. This match might just be over. Tuck him out at the knee. A lot of action in that match. Let's have a look. This was another great moment. Here are your winners, the superstar and gold dust. Well, that one was over before it even started. Tag teams beware. These two guys are legit. And that's the kind of action we've come to expect here on Raw. Buzz face tonight. He still managed to come out on top. What a return to Monday Night Raw. Not again. Apparently, Bray Wyatt has unfinished business. And he's not alone. Oh, and look at the punches. Teeing off. Sent to the outside. Oh, from behind. That'll give you some whiplash. Buzz is outnumbered now. What are they going to do? Ooh, what an elbow. Ouch. Bray Wyatt making his presence felt. What a shocking turn of events. It's Finn Balor! Luckily for Buzz, he appears to have made an ally in Finn Balor. I want to know who the heck that guy in the sheet mask was. Byron, go ask Bray. No thanks. I welcomed you back last week because I missed you, Buzz. I really did. We became so close before your unfortunate injuries took you away from me. So I waited eagerly for you to return while you convalesced. But it was during that time that I met a man. Someone who was once a host of your parasitic behavior. You traveled up and down the road together. But when it came time to emerge from the underground, you left his carcass for the vultures. He was no use to you anymore, but he is of great use to me. 
You see, in our last encounter, you destroyed something important to me, and now I will destroy someone important to you. But this is of your doing, Buzz. You left him for the vultures, remember? I'm simply doing what comes naturally, swooping down and consuming the flesh that you left exposed. We still have no idea who this guy is. You have got to be kidding me. Bray Wyatt has recruited Cole Quinn? Or whatever's left of him. Somehow, this just got even more personal. Bray has some kind of powerful mental hold on Cole. What does Kurt Angle have to do with any of this? It's obvious that the issues between you two are far from over. So at Survivor Series, you're going to face each other in a rematch. But this time, I'm going to make sure that the match makes it to the ring and stays there. And there will also be no way for anyone to interfere because your match will be taking place in a steel cage. Buzz is going to get a shot to even the score with Bray Wyatt in a steel cage match at Survivor Series. That music can mean only one thing. The WWE Universe is chopping to the bit to see these two competitors go at it. You can count me in on the excitement. I can't wait. Here we go, fellas. I've been looking forward to this one for quite some time. Harsh impact. Drop kick. It hits the mark. Oh, look at him. Oh, man, that hurt. Uh-oh, nailed it. Drop kick. Drop kick hits the mark. Drop down. Drop down. Drop down. Oh, what an up. Bad spot for him to be in here, guys. He's got to do something to get back in this thing. Not the fall that hurts. It's the sudden stop at the end. Right in the back of the neck. He's on the defensive here, but we all know that he isn't afraid of a good fight, which is what we're seeing here. Hey, you and I both know he's double tough. He's not going to let something like this stop him from winning the steel oh, cage. Man. Bray Wyatt on the defensive. Man. With these two guys, we all knew this was going to be an all-out battle. Let's not get ahead of ourselves, oh, Cole. This is just a little bump in the road for him here. Nothing to worry about. I know it's somewhat early still, but this could be a pivotal point in this match, guys. Let's see how he reacts here. A striking blow. Drop kick with precision. Before 2017's Extreme Rules, there were just three previous tag team matches where championship gold was decided inside a steel cage in the history of WWE special events. The Hardy Boys were in two of those matches. At Extreme Rules, in order to win the match, both members of a team had to exit the cage and have both feet on the floor. The Hardys used their famous continuity to gain the early advantage until Cesaro... What does Buzz have in store? We're, we're about to find... Oh, what a cross face. This could be the turning point, Cole. Dropped like a bad habit.
When this guy's on, look out. What is Buzz has uh, Turns over. The sharpshooter is locked in. And the odds just swung in Buzz's favor. And he releases the hold. I don't think he had it fully locked in. Oh, what a snap there. Oh, perfectly executed. He might have it. Ooh, what impact. Nice. Shut it down. And look at the quickness by Wyatt. Beautiful athleticism. What does Buzz have in school? Oh, nasty impact. But is it enough to defeat Wyatt here? That'll pretty much do it. Wait a second. That's Cole Quinn. So much for the cage preventing anyone from interfering. And it's two on one yet again. Here comes Finn Balor. This is exactly what Kurt Angle didn't want to happen. Too late now. Sister Abigail on Buzz. This time, Two, Finn Balor three. can't help him. It's over. Bray Wyatt has managed to defeat Buzz in a steel cage match where all hell broke loose. Back to Raw, where Buzz is still feeling the effects from his brutal match last night with Bray Wyatt. You're too late. I used up all the trainer's ice. I don't blame you. That was quite the battle out there last night. Well, thanks again for trying to even up the odds. No need for thanks. After what they did to me last night, it's become a little bit personal for me, too. I just can't believe that I gave it everything I had and Bray still managed to come out on top. Was it really everything? Of course it was. What are you saying? I'm saying, to beat someone like Bray Wyatt, you need to get past what you think are your limits and embrace your inner demon. At least, that's what worked for me. I'm willing to do whatever it takes to beat Bray and get Cole back. I just have no idea how I'm supposed to find my inner demon. Yeah. If it is demons that you seek, you should consider venturing to the multiverse with me again. Wait, did he say again? Uh, yeah, I've never been to the multiverse with you before. You have been before in a different vessel, which is why it was deleted from your memory. Uh, I don't know about this. You said you were willing to do whatever it takes. Uh, I'm not sure about this either, Buzz. I thought a steel cage match was the best possible solution to settle the issues between you and Bray Wyatt. But obviously I was wrong. So I've just... Do not express worry. I have made men or win. The seven deities have deemed that the multiverse cannot be found on a map or in a car. Oh, yes. Since he's become woken, he's clearly accessed some hidden away dark places. That's good. You can harness your... Diverse. It's delightful, isn't it? This is amazing. There is even more to see if you open your mind and look to the cosmos. You will encounter the various vessels that we have existed in. Ah, yes. I was once a great Egyptian pharaoh in Giza. 
Unfortunately, that vessel met its demise from the bite of that wicked asp. Do you remember, Brother Buzz? You roamed about Antarctica centuries ago. Was I some kind of explorer? No, you were a polar bear. Oh, let me guess. I was a shark, too. No, your vessel was eaten by a shark off the coast of Australia in the 1940s. How gruesome. What's that? I think it's the Blade of Baron. Good match, Van Gogh. It seems as if we've slipped into the current dimension. I am truly happy for you. I don't want to be here. Big things are happening for us. He is a soul most tortured who has lived many conflicted existences. Wakey, wakey. wakey. I said I don't want to be here. Make it stop. You must you face your fears to, to find your inner demon, brother Buzz. due to hallucinations. I warned uh, you not to get on Triple H's bad time. Uh, You're like a son to me. You're like a son to me. You're like a son to me. Like a son to me. Like a son to me. Stop! That's it. You did it. You're now ready to create your alter ego that will walk beside the Demon King. Now ready to delete the consumer of terrestrial entities. Yes. All over for you. Bzz. Wake up. I'm talking to you. Finn? Where have you been? I was in the multiverse with Matt Hardy finding my inner demon, just like you suggested. You've been gone for weeks. Weeks? Welcome back, Brother Buzz. I neglected to mention that the multiverse creates rifts in the Earth's time spectrum. What felt like 30 mortal minutes was indeed many weeks. Oh, God. But it was well worth it in your effort to make the vile Bray Wyatt obsolete! Weeks. You're probably a little out of sorts right now, but our big tag match versus Bray Wyatt and Cole is tonight, so you need to get your head on straight if we're going to defeat them and have any chance of helping Cole get out from under Bray's control. Don't worry, okay? I may have been gone for much longer than expected, but I found what I was looking for. And you'll be seeing it tonight. Weeks. After everything that's transpired between Buzz and Bray Wyatt the last few months, it's come down to this. An Extreme Rules Tag Match, where these four men are going to use everything at their disposal to tear each other apart. Let's not forget, despite Buzz's animosity for Bray Wyatt, he still wants to help Bray's partner, Cole Quinn have an impact on Buzz's performance in this match. Well, Buzz is going to have to put that aside tonight because if he doesn't, he'll never be able to beat Bray Wyatt and Cole Quinn will be gone for it. Going for the cover. Yeah, I don't believe that, that, that he didn't win this match right there. Too soon. Boom! <laughs> Dominating crossbody. Oh, what a slam! That hurt! Beautiful technique. Oh, man, what a driver! Drop kick! Oh, oh great. Incredible. There was a lot of force behind that one. Oh. Incredible. There was a lot of force behind that one. Knee drop. You gotta believe this one's over. Incredible. There was a lot of force behind that one. This might be it. Incredible. There was a lot of force behind that one. Beautiful technique. Boom. Incredible. There was a lot of force behind that one. Harsh imp. Incredible. There was a lot of force behind that one. Oh boy, he is rolling. This might be it. Oh my. What a stomp. Good grief. Oh, nasty impact. I went to battle with Bray Wyatt during our time in NXT, and I don't think you can try and outsmart him or psych him out. You have to stay focused and be unafraid. That can be your only 
chance if you want to survive. Ooh, over and over. Ooh, what impact. Head scissors applied. Oh, oh, look at this. Short arm clothesline. <laughs> well, Corey, you may have just summarized the only battle plan that could be effective in a match against Bray Wyatt. For that individual to remain focused and not be lured into Wyatt's sick and twisted world. We've seen the damage Bray Wyatt can do just by using his mind. It's almost impossible for WWE superstars to stay away from the darkness. But that's exactly... But is it enough to end it? Bray Wyatt's just getting overwhelmed. That's using your head. You gotta believe this one's over. Nail it. Oh, what a boot to the face. Oof. Not where he wants to be right now. Hey, he got himself into this mess. He's gotta get himself out of it now. He's making a statement here with this attack. This might be. Oof. Will Buzz be able to continue? I doubt it. Oh boy, he is rolling. Ooh. Oh, from behind. Oh wow. Frankensteiner. Nice. Game, set, match. This one is over. Ray Wyatt's just getting a beautiful technique. Here's his moment, Michael. We've got to see that again, guys. So nice, you gotta see it twice. Nailed it. Oh, nasty impact. You gotta believe this one's over. Oh, what impact? This one is over. Let's see that again. Definitely worth a second look. This one's far from over. Too soon. Wisely bringing the action back into the ring. Oh, impactful slam. He's stumbling some now. He doesn't want to let this match get out of control, guy. It might be cliche, but it's true here. It ain't over until it's over. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. Oh, boy, he is rolling. He's fighting back here. I expected nothing less, Cole. Finn Balor going high risk. There it is. That is a game changer. Cootie Gras. That should do it. Fisherman Driver. Good. And here's another glance at these superstars in action. And this is how he ended. He did it! It took channeling his inner demon to walk alongside the demon king, Finn Balor. But Buzz has finally defeated Bray Wyatt. But where does Cole Quinn stand in all of this now? It's over now, Cole. Bray never cared about you. But I do. Come with me. Everything will be okay. I'm sorry, Buzz. I don't know what happened. It's okay. It's all over. This is bigger than revenge. Buzz has seemingly rescued his friend Cole Quinn from Bray Wyatt's control. Finn Balor doesn't just throw that gesture around to anyone. It's reminiscent of what we saw between Buzz and AJ Styles in Japan. But what does it mean? It means that Finn Balor and Buzz have formed a bond that won't soon be broken.